hello guys it's yeti and i'm going to be showing you how to set up your one click product also known as is ocp so here i'm just going to navigate to my product and as you can see i already have one product here but i'm going to be creating another product and click add product so here i just pick choose one ocp so here you basically have to insert your basic information i'm going to be putting a picture of the product so I'll go for this product, for this picture rather, and yeah, my internet name, this name is only for you and your company, and some people like to, you know, give their product numbers in, um, within, so I'm just going to go for 002, but the official name is just going to be Majestic Rosemary Set, okay, let me go for Majestic Rosemary Set, and this should just be 100 percent natural 100 percent natural so do i want to give my 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 product a theme yes i should go for this i prefer this then i scroll down <coughs> if you have a custom domain name you simply click here and use your custom domain name but i do know so i'm going to be using something custom domain name and see so that's about that for the basic information save and next so now the price point this here i'm going to be giving is it a one-time payment or a, re a recurring payment for this i'm going to be going for a one-time payment if it's a recurring payment you click this and you'll see how often do you want them to pay should it be um weekly monthly quarterly and the likes and when do you want to stop it but for one time payments, I'm just going to click this price point. I'm just going to give this a silver. I'm going to give this a silver. Yeah, price description one time payments is fine. One time payment is fine. So, what currency do you want to accept? Do you want to accept Naira? Do you want to accept US dollars, British? If you want more, you just click on show more and you click the currency you want. You impute the equivalence of the of the product so here i'm just going to say twenty thousand error and for the us dollar i'm just going to accept it in us dollar and and um, naira so i'm going to say let's assume this is twenty dollars and that is fine so i scroll down i'm going to show less because it's just two i want and yes i'm going to set this as my default price and i'm going to save yeah so that's about the product pricing you can always you know go through it and edit it if you're not fine with that then i'm going to scroll down is it a digital product is it a physical product for this i'm just going to pick a physical product since it's um it's a perfume and shipping address I'm just let's okay yes let's pick Abuja how much do I want to charge for that let's say 3,000 era and I'm going to add shipping address I can also you can impute more than one shipping address I could also put outside Lagos and I add 2,000 era and that's it I scroll down and I save you can put as much shipping address as you have and you save scroll down you check are you fine with it if it's okay you are good to go if it's not okay you can always edit it and click next so here a uh, refund policy do you offer refund if no you click no refund but if you do the seven day period 14 day period 30 day period and the like so you could either click any of these but no no refund please save so here I think I'm fine with this. I'm going to scroll down. I'm also fine with my shipping. I found I'm fine with my refund policy and I'm going to save and next. So here check out form field. What details, what information do you want your customers to drop? Do you want yeah, email, full name and phone number is a must, it's compulsory. That's data for you. So here I'm just going to click add field if I want something else maybe i want i want um, this in the color they would prefer or something that is important and i just add 
I click on add but right now I do not so I'm just going to leave that and save this is fine so for my destination page where do you want to send them to your thank you page you would have created a published thank you page for, um on your on create a page platform here my pages so for this purpose i'm just going to um click here and just type in this thank you page this is not the thank you page i'm going to be using but if you have different thank you pages it would show it would show here if you have created your thank you page but because i haven't i'm just going to use external link and just put this and save so yes i'm fine with this i'm going to scroll down i'm also fine with this product quantity yeah it's is it limited is it unlimited or it's there's no it's not available at all so this product is unlimited you can order as much as you want so i'm going to be clicking unlimited and i'm going to save so yes i think i'm fine with this i'm fine with this i'm fine with this so my cart abandonment tagging as i always say tag is for people that come to your page and make payments why mailing list is for people that come and do not make payments it's always good to tag and mail your customers it helps you make informed decision so here i'm going to like pick my tag as silver category gift like i always use gift and i'm going to tag them as gift sales if i'm running a sale and i'm going to add it you could also just create a new tag if you'd want depending on your product you can create as much tags as you want so i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to save this yes so the thank you page is fine my checkout form is fine like i said before if it's not fine you can always edit it you can always edit it and yes my terms and conditions do i want my my subscribers my customers my buyers to to sign an agreement no not really do do i yes okay i'm going to click this but if it's no no don't and it's fine i'm going to save this so let me just cross check the thank you page check out form my product quantity my cart abandonment tagging terms and condition and i think i'm fine with this page save and next so this is the next thing let me go up so my mailing list like i mentioned earlier always tag and mail your customers so i'm going to give them gift mailing list and save it helps you make informed decision don't forget that helps you make this informed decision if you want to like you know do a loyalty bonus you'll be like oh yeah this customer pays well to me and has bought a lot from me like right? this customer is indecisive you can always upsell to them or you know try to convince them so for the customer tags yeah do you want to tag my customers yes tag customers don't tag customers tag customers so i'm going to save this gift gift and scroll down and i will save okay so that's for my mailing list and my tag so accessing your product con content what choose default access product content page what do you want your customers to do like do you want to send them to your softlink membership do you want them to be able to download a file once they are done filling a form or something or do you whatever it is you pick i'm just going to click softlink membership and i'm going to scroll down yes softlink membership and i'm going to scroll down membership name if you've created your membership it should show here and i have a membership so i'm just going to pick this majestic world membership level bronze silver gold for this i'm going to be going for silver number of days how many days do you want to allot to them here i'm just going to say um i'm just going to say 60 60 is fine and i save saved and i save so here mailing list is fine my my customer tag is fine my product content is fine then i save and next so what's next i'm done congratulations your product has been configured successfully and that's how to set up your ocp what next you can share your link as it says here you can this direct link you can send it to people share it on your social media 
or use it to run ads.